I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and was born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. These next three Hail Marys are for faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glorious Mysteries, First Resurrection of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, save us our soul. Save us from the heaven of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ascension of the Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, save us from our sin. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Descent of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Mary is assumed into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the, f the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery. Mary is crowned queen of heaven and earth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and ob obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O oh, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, employed thy help, and sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with his confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, Hear and answer me. Amen.
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Coming together as God's family, let us now ask for God's for mercy and pardon, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Señor, ten piedad. Señor, ten
Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be the children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day, Elisha came to Shuman, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterwards, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elisha is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp. Since he visits so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Sometime later, Elisha arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elisha asked, can something be done for her? His servant, Geh Gehazi, answered, yes. She has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Elisha said, call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elisha promised, this time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. que sabe aclamarte caminará oh Señor a la luz de tu rostro 
tu nombre es su gozo cada día tu justicia es su orgullo cantaré eternamente las misericordias del to me you are my father my god my rock that brings me victory cantare eternamente las misericordias del A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. And to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, 
Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because the little one is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's gospel, we are presented with two themes. Uh, the first part of the gospel, it gives us the theme of the missionary discipleship. And the second part of the gospel, we hear about the hospitality. And the essential aspect of life of missionary disciple, there are a couple of things that we have to, you know, Jesus put across. For us to be effective uh, missionary disciple and much more to be effective to become a hospitable, we, have to, we need to have a strong bond with Jesus. Having the bond which is more than, which, uh, rather the, a love of God which surpasses either bond. The first part where Jesus reminds us that anyone, you know, we have to, to deny our, our families or who put the families first, he is reminding us that that bond, we have to have the bond beyond the relationship, our family bond, the blood bond. St. Alfonso Lugori, in one of his message for the prayer, he says that we have to familiarize ourselves with God like a friend. We have to offer ourselves to him when we come to him like a friend. Share our joy, our sorrows, our frustration. And that's how we can you know, strengthen the bond and the relationship between ourselves and God. And that can only happen again with prayer and humility. And secondly, for us to be able to be effective as a missionary disciple, we are reminded again today in the gospel that uh, we, you know, we have to deny ourselves. Anyone who saves his life will lose it. Anyone who loses his life for the sake of the gospel will find it. Reminding us that our life is as a missionary disciples, it's not all about singing, kumbaya, my Lord, kumbaya. Not always like that. There will always be rejection. There will always be persecution. There will always, you know, when you stand for the truth, there will always be people who want to bring you down. But there is hope. Because God always reminds us that he will never abandon us. He is always going to be with us until the end of time. And much more even in the gospel today, we're reminded that uh, whoever receives you, receives me. That Jesus reminds us. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sends me. Reminding us again, the missionary disciple that we have been called, we are not alone. And we are accompanied by Christ himself. When we look in our society today, there are so many who want to be in the ministry. But we don't want to detach ourselves from the worldly. There are so many who want to become a good Christian. But we can't stand, we don't want to stand against the injustices, what is going on in our society. There are so many who want to become good Christians, but, and much more as a good Catholic a Christian. But when it comes to the sanctity of life, we are always say, well, I have a choice. We want the others so much also other people who want to be in the ministries. But we don't want to, be, to carry the cross. 
We don't want to be rejected. We don't want to lose that cool, to, be not, to lose that cool you know, title, cool dad, cool mom, cool uncle. We want to remain you know, in the friend zone. We don't want to, to stand for that what is right. And much more there are some of us who want to become a good Christian, but when it comes to hospitality, we are, you know, we, are, we are choosing who to give the charity. And if we give the charity, again, we are there to, you know, to take all the credit. We want to put ourselves in the Instagram and say, hashtag helping the poor people, hashtag giving myself, you know, giving charity. And that is not what we are being called. We are called to give, we, to give and to let ourselves be an you know, instrument of grace, as we hear in the, in the first reading today is from the woman of Shumai. When, again, Jesus reminds us in the, in the gospel that uh, he who loves the father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, it's not because he wants us to be heartless and ungrateful for our parents. Rather, he wants us to, pre- to have our priority right. It's not because I love my vocation, I love God. No, it's because I love God, I love my vocation. It's because I love God, I have become a good family member, I have become a good husband. It's because I love God, I have a good daughter. It's not because I am a, I'm a, 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 I'm a good priest, then I love God. No, it's because God, I love God, then my vocation comes in. And the great example of the one who was a missionary disciple and much more hospitable is our Mother Mary. She was able to welcome the angel in her home without fearing the consequences that will follow her for saying yes to God, without even saying yes to God, yet formally, not yet, you know, without being formally married to Joseph. Again, Mary, she stands as an example of a good missionary disciple because, again, she said yes to God. She realized that it's, her saying yes to God was not about her. It was about God who has called her to be the mother of the Savior. And that's why at the end of the conversation with the angel, she had to humble herself and say, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done according to your word. And much more, she is a great example of the one who was much more missionary disciple because when she received the message of the, of, from the angel, she was able to share that message with her cousin Elizabeth. And that's what we are being called today. As we hear the message of truth, as we hear the message of Christ calling us to become hospitable, as we become um, missionary disciples, we are called to also to share, to redeem that love, that joy to others. And so the big question then we may ask ourselves as we come to draw to the end of our dovena is, am I ready to be sent? Am I ready to become that missionary disciple? Am I ready to detach myself from the worldly you know, things and let, and let God be the center of my life? Am I hospitable only to only those people who are nice to me? Or am I also reaching out to the people who are also being victimized? Am I hospitable only to those people that I'm always, you know, I, I can always find the favor back, but I'm always, or am I always going there, even to those people who are strangers, marginalized, immigrant, and much more, am I hospitable even in prayer to those people who have been victimized during this time, this challenging time? May we ask the good Lord as we celebrate today's Mass and through the intercession of Mother Mary that we too, like her, we may continue to say yes to our vocation because he has called us and made us his own. Amen. stands and professor of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven. And he seated at the right hand of the Father, mighty, 
From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Guided by Christ's word, we come to, to you, Father, and ask that you hear our prayers. We pray for Pope Francis, that the Lord give him good health and energy in his papacy. We pray also that he be supported by all in our church and that he have the resources to continue his works of mercy with the poor and needy throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, let's hear our prayers. prayers. In today's gospel, we are reminded by Jesus of the importance of hospitality, kindness, and generosity in our Christian lives. We pray that we will be ever mindful of his message and that those of us who are blessed with sufficient in our life hear the cry of those in need and be generous in our response. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Our prayers. We pray today for our brothers and sisters throughout the world who are boldly and spiritually hungry, that through the inspiration of Jesus and the generosity and example of Christians, they have food on their tables and love and peace of the Lord in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for those workers and volunteers who seek to feed and clothe the needy, that the Lord bestow on them the grace to continue in their work and reward them through their acts of mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our young children, now officially on their summer holiday. We pray that they have a safe and happy environment in which they can enjoy the wonders of nature and the good company of friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. We bow our heads and remember in silence all those who are affected by the pandemic. We also pray for our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Lord, we ask that you hear our prayers and grant us a new life and hope through faith in your infinite love and generosity. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mystery, grant we pray that the deeds of by which we serve you may be worthy of this sacred gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Uh, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought the renewal to human fallen state, and by his suffering cancel out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dofo, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Cada vez que comemos de este pan y bebemos de este cáliz, anunciamos tu muerte, Señor, hasta que Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from me. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be. Where 
Just a couple of announcements uh, before we end the Mass today. Um, this is Father John Kamani's last Mass in the parish here at the cathedral and at Cristo Rey. He'll be m moving to be a pastor tomorrow in Penasco and Dix Dixon. So um, God bless you, John, as you start this new journey. I want you to know I'm going to miss your laughter. Um, I want you to know that um, scaring you in the hallway when I spoke to you in the, you know, was, was quite exciting. Um, but I also want you to remember that, um, that you are already a good priest and you will make a great pastor. I have every confidence in you and um, being a leader is hard. Being a pastor is a great adventure. Um, so never forget how important it is that we have pastors and good pastors and I know that you will be a great one. God bless you on your journey. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Um, secondly, um, we're having a, a small procession today to the front of the cathedral. All of you are asked to, who are here are asked to join in that procession. Um, so um, as, you, as, you leave the, as you leave the church today, please wait outside and then we will um, walk around the church to the front. We're asking for the intercession of Mary during this time of pandemic. Um, we're asking her to establish peace in our, in our world. Um, right here um, in Santa Fe, right here in our parish, right here in our nation, and especially in our entire world. We need those prayers. We need Mary right now. And so um, I ask your patience while we prepare for that procession. It will only take a few minutes. I don't know if you want to say anything. On behalf of myself and myself again, I take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you, and especially for Father Tim, for being a good father. <laughs> yeah, torturing me a little bit, but okay. <laughs> and uh, much more. I'm so grateful. I'll treasure so many things from here. I've learned a lot, and I'm really, really going to miss this place. And much more, not only the place, the people who, you know, it's not the place that makes people the great, but the people who live there are the one who makes the place to be great. And so I'm going to miss a lot of you guys. And um, my prayer is that you, you may continue with that spirit of generosity, continue to support the parish, continue to, to be united during this time of challenging time. And much more, don't forget about little John, me, mm -hmm. um, there in the boonies. You know, <laughs> say a little prayer to little John in the boonies so that I may become a, you know, an instrument of joy to the people of Penasco and Dixon. Thank you so much. Let us pray. <coughs> may this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in the lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.
ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte y así sea Jesús María Dios te salve María llena eres de gracia el Señor es contigo y bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte y así sea, Jesús María. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo, y bendito tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito. Y tú es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte y así sea Jesús María Dios te salve María llena eres de gracia el Señor es contigo y bendito tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús Santa María Madre de Dios rega por nosotros pecadores ahora y en la hora en nuestra muerte y así sea Jesús María Dios te salve María llena eres de gracia el Señor es contigo
nuestros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte y así sea, Jesús María. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo, y bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte y así sea, Jesús María, Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo y bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre. pecadores ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte y así sea Jesús María Dios te salve María llena eres de gracia el Señor es contigo y bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús, Santa por nosotros pecadores ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte y así sea Jesús María Magnificat Anima mea dominum, et exulta vid spiritus meus, in Deo salutari meo, qui a respectit humilitatem ancilie sue, Et cinim ex hoc beatem, me vicent omnes generationes. Qui ha ha fecit mihi magna qui potens est, et sanctum nomen eius. Et misericordia eius a progenie, in progenies, 
Timantibuseum. Fecit potentiam in brachio suo, dispersit superbos mente cordi sui. Deposuit potentes de sede, er exaltal vitumiles. Es oriente simple vit bonis, et divites timis it inanes. Sushepit Israel puerum sum, Recordatus misericordiae sue, sicut locutus est ad patres nostros, Abraham et semenieus in secula, gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O Nuestra Señora de la Paz, Patrona y Reina Nuestra, prometida en el paraíso del Edén, como la mujer cuya semilla aplastaría la cabeza de la serpiente, ayudadnos a conquistar todos los males que nos circundan, y aún más en nuestros corazones. Y esto, con la gracia de vuestro sacritísimo Hijo Jesucristo, Dios y Redentor nuestro, oh Nuestra Señora de la Paz, Patrona y Reina nuestra, por medio de vuestra maternidad del Salvador, quien es verdadero Dios y verdadero hombre. Ayudadnos a vencer todo error que atañe a la persona de Jesucristo y a su iglesia que estableció para su gloria eterna y nuestra salvación. Oh Nuestra Señora de la Paz, Patrona y Reina Nuestra, por medio de Jesucristo, quien es Príncipe de la Paz y nuestro Rey Universal, Convertid por el divino poder de Dios, cuyo poder sobresale todo por el humano, a todos los infieles y a todos los enemigos de la paz de Cristo. Oh Nuestra Señora de la Paz, Patrona y Reina Nuestra, conquistad eficazmente con vuestra hermosura inmaculada nuestros corazones para que, unidos con vuestro divino Hijo, en fin, podremos glorificarle en esta vida y victoriosamente conocerle y después contigo y con todos los santos gozarle eternamente en la vida postrera, así sea. Un Padre nuestro, un Ave María, un, un Gloria a Dios por los que sufren del pandémico del COVID. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos de todo mal. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, perdonamos, y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Gloria al Padre, al Hijo, al Espíritu Santo, como era en principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. One our Father, one Hail Mary, one Glory be, for peace in our world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. El Señor esté con ustedes. La bendición de Dios, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo, descienda sobre ustedes y permanezca para siempre.